This summer, the Scratch Ed team is hosting Creative Computing, an online Scratch workshop for teachers, made possible with support from Google's CS4HS initiative. The Creative Computing online workshop is free. It is six weeks long, beginning Monday, June 3rd, and ending July 12th, and involves approximately 10 to 12 hours of activity each week. The workshop is designed for K-12 educators, but is open to anyone who is interested in creative computing. No prior experience with Scratch or with programming is required. Computers are a part of every aspect of our lives. But we engage with computers and computation primarily as consumers rather than as producers. We watch videos on YouTube, we play games on our cell phones, we participate in social networks. But computation is a powerful creative medium for self-expression and problem solving. And everyone should be able to engage with computation as creators. It's not that everyone should become a computer scientist, but everyone should have an appreciation for the thinking and the practices involved. But how do we do this? Well, you need access to tools and to community. And Scratch is one tool and one community for supporting creative computing. Scratch is a free programming environment that enables young people to create their own interactive media, stories, games, animations. And you build projects by snapping blocks together, just as you snap Lego bricks together in the physical world. Scratch is also an online community where people can share their projects with others online. You can view projects, interact with projects, and even look inside projects to study and remix others' code. The Creative Computing Workshop is all about supporting creative computing in the classroom. And we'll be using the Scratch programming language as our primary tool for exploration. In the workshop, you'll be creating Scratch projects, connecting with other educators, and reflecting on how to include creative computing in learning experiences. I'll be your guide through the big ideas of creative computing in the workshop, but let me introduce you to other members of the workshop facilitation team. In the online workshop activities, you'll have a variety of opportunities to engage with creative computing and learn more about Scratch. We'll show you a range of sample Scratch projects to give you ideas and inspiration for designing your own computational creations and we'll introduce activities and resources to help you gain hands-on experience with Scratch. We'll help you explore key computational practices by walking you through each of the daily workshop activities. We'll also introduce you to powerful computational concepts like sequences, loops, parallelism, events, conditionals, and data. Those ideas that are central to computer science and computational thinking more broadly. Whether you're completely new to Scratch and creative computing or have prior experience, we'll help you connect the computational practices and computational concepts through a deeper familiarity and fluency with the Scratch authoring environment and the online community. Whatever your grade level or subject area, you'll be exploring, tinkering, and making connections with other educators throughout this entire workshop to imagine how you can include creative computing in your teaching practice. I hope that answers some of your questions about creative computing and the creative computing online workshop. If you have any other questions, please join us in the Creative Computing Google Plus community. We look forward to working with you.